Burr. Burr. Look, he's starting to talk. Well, the voices in Bambi are not famous voices. They were not child actors that had been in films. Say bird. But they are perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Bird. <laughs> and that's what you're looking for as an animator. You don't really need a star. You know, you really need somebody with a big name. I was uh, four years to six years old when we did the uh, voice of Thumper. My father was in the movie industry and heard that they were auditioning and there were some 30 children who were at the voice recordings. Frank Thompson and Ollie Johnston told me the story of being in the recording session where they brought all the kids in and they were, you know, having the kids all do, oh, did he, f the, the young prince fall down? Did he fall down? And there's a, did the young prince fall down? Did the young prince fall down? And the one who was leading the recording session was saying, oh, you know, get that, you know, get that kid to the back. You know, he can't act. But Frank and Ollie were sitting in the back of the, the recording booth. And they said that they were just like, no, 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 no. Let that, br bring that kid forward. They heard my voice and uh, decided it was perfect for the rabbit. And uh, apparently that's what they said. He doesn't walk very good, does he? So that character was born out of that recording session. There was a thing going on, the casting director didn't like Peter Bain because couldn't apparently finish long sentences. You, you had to feed him a few words at a time, you know. Mm -hmm. See, that's the only way you could do it. But, but you couldn't put two of them together. And there was one line where he forgot his line and he said, If you can't say something nice. And then he had to think, you know. <laughs> and then, he, then, then when he thought, then he, after he thought of it, then he could spiel off the rest of it up. Don't say nothing at all. What came out in the end was so different and charming and unusual. Come on, it's all right. They found this innocence and sincerity in this kid to give you that performance and then to be able to have the animation to go along with it. Some fun, huh, Bambi? As far as it being a distinctive voice, the people do say that and, and uh, I think maybe because it was authentic. Come on, you can do it. I was an exuberant kid, and I think it came out and made a very good match for the particular needs of the movie. As long as the voice goes along with the personality and the character, and it looks like, and or it sounds like that voice is coming out of that drawing, that's what really matters. I think I better go home now. I think these Bambi voices are perfect. My original hiring from Mr. Disney was to be the model. The first experience uh, that I re recall doing any work there, where I sat on a stool and uh, some nice people, uh, very gentle, would say, we want you to look up like you're afraid. Uh, look like you're surprised. And uh, we had a great time. Hello, Bambi. I suppose my mother brought me uh, to audition. And it was after I was in Gone with the Wind, so it would be age five. I was, certainly was not professional. I said hello. I think Mr. Disney had an extra sense of, let's have real children in, doing real children things, because these are young children animals. <laughs> it was very real to me doing it, because I was being myself. He's kind of bashful, isn't he, Mama? If I hear that voice, that is a part of my childhood. And it's sweet. It's just very, it's touching. One of my embarrassments as an adult is that I didn't have the courage to tell close, trusted friends, 25 years in the Marine Corps, that I participated and was one of the voices of the wonderful work of Mr. Disney, Bambi. It was because I was in a part of the Marine Corps that was the Marine Corps Marine Corps, okay? And if the troops I was leading as a battalion commander, if they found out that I was part of Bambi and I picked up the nickname Bambi, I would have been history. Pretty flower. If you think about it, I was in Gone with the Wind and I was in Bambi at the age of five when I peaked. So, um, you know, what are the chances of being in two classics and never doing another thing? Absolutely amazing absolutely amazing in the case of bambi i think it, it was a 
was a brilliant casting thing to stumble across, you know, people that could do those voices, and they really were tenacious about it. Um, and you find somebody like you know, the Thumper voice, which is one in a million, and suggest that character. Um, yeah, he's a cute kid, but to be able to then take that voice and turn that into a piece of animation that's now become very memorable for all of us is really pretty special. Look, he's trying to get up. Well, it is funny to be associated with a bunny, but uh, I think the character of Thumper, uh, as it came through in the movie, is something I've I've always been uh, pleased and proud that I was uh, I was a part of that. What you gonna call him? I think I'll call him Bambi. Bambi. Yeah, but I guess I'm do all right. I had great admiration for this film. I remembered the sensitivity of what the coaches gave me when I was doing the voice. And films like Bambi allow the children to be children before they got biased and hammered with all the things that we experience in adulthood. And I respect that deeply. It's just humbling. And how did I get so lucky? And I feel a little guilty accepting praise or, or, oh my gosh, you did this because what did I really have to do with it? <laughs> but I am never going to, um, to diminish the great good fortune. It's amazing that I would, I would have been in Bambi. It's amazing to me and I'm very thankful.